Hello, guys. Monday on ABC, love is a beach and someone will get burned. Noelle, Bachelor in Paradise is finally back with your favorite bachelors and bachelorettes. I am so pumped about this. I can't wait. Monday on ABC. Mm. Do you want to know more about it? Yes. All right. I'll tell you in a little while. But first, <laughs> guys, welcome to Catfish Trash Talk. This is episode 14. I'm your host, comedian Tracy Carnazzo, joined by my co-host, Noelle Winters Herzog. Hello, Tracy Carnazzo. Hello. We're here to talk about season eight, episode 46, Brittany and Mark. The first enjoyable episode mm-hmm. in how I'm into long? It. I'm into this. This all is a the good way. one. I'm like, we yeah. are back baby yeah this was a good one um just i know that um we still have things to say but right out the gate don't like britney just how it is hard don't like britney thank you you know sometimes i'm worried because you like the bad people but i'm glad you didn't like her hard don't like britney worst energy bad person terrible vibes bad person Brittany, I'm sorry if you're listening to this. You're a bad person. Yeah, we just we just don't like you. Sorry, don't like you at all. Um, so I do want to invite you guys all. This is a very exclusive invite to join us at <laughs> patreoncom trash talk podcast for over 200 bonus episodes, including our podcast BS, where me and Noel just we we just like um what's it called BS, you know yeah. <laughs> we do that. <laughs> It is so enjoyable. You'll learn more about us than you ever wanted to learn. Trust me. She is not lying to you. (laughs) And I hope you guys really enjoyed last week's episode. I really enjoyed last week's episode. We worked really hard on that one. That was so much fun. That was, it was a lot. So much fun. Mm -hmm. A lot, but so much fun. Mm -hmm. Um, So we start off this episode and Neve asked Cammy to give him a haircut at a barber shop. Okay, so like here's the thing. Usually I would roll my eyes at this. Every time my brother in law comes yep. over, he makes me do that to his neck. <laughs> Every time. He's like, Noe, can you can you just like clean up my neck for me? And then Matt's like, Oh yeah, me too. And I then you have a barber shop. And then you have a barber shop going on. Every time he's over. That's so funny. Yeah. So that's like a thing. So I can't even make fun. <laughs> you should you should uh message Cammy and let her know that she's not alone. <laughs> So we meet Brittany, right? She's how, so I wrote, she's that, 25. Okay. She's 25. I wrote it like, um, like almost like Helen Keller. <laughs> oh, you're Brittany back to it. Helen Keller. Okay. Yes. Did you write okay. it in the dark? I don't know what I did. So Brittany's either 25, 20 J <laughs> or, or 23. <laughs> she's 25 from Ontario. <laughs> Three years ago, she met Mark and they spoke a little bit and then stopped talking. And then they started talking again in March. So basically they started talking, um, I guess this March. Right. That's what I'm assuming. Okay. So he lives near her, but he won't meet her and they have a mutual friend and the mutual friend says that Mark is real. Right. But she doesn't even like Mark anyway. Right. So he won't FaceTime with her. And then also she says that there's an ex involved. What? Right. Huh? Okay. And also she has like this exposed brick. It looks like she's in an Airbnb, but then Neve asked her if the exposed brick is real. And she's like, oh yeah. But it's like, is this just an Airbnb? It's just an Airbnb. They want us to think that this is a real place. It's not, but she's a welder, which is kind of badass. Okay. But here's the thing. What is Megan Tig? Oh, she does Megan stick welding, Avi. I don't okay. know. Okay. I Cammy's okay. Good. Cause Cammy's like, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm like me either. <laughs> okay. So let's see. MIG welding. Here we go. Mm-hmm. Uh, metal inert gas welding. It's an arc welding process that uses continuous solid wire electrode heated and fed into the weld pool from the welding gun. The gun feeds a shielding gas alongside the electrode, helping protect the weld pool from airborne contaminants. Interesting. Yeah. You know, MIG. Yeah. Okay. MIG and TIG, you know, no, and stick. Oh, okay. I don't know. Yeah. And then she does stick welding. Um, and that is shielded metal arc welding, also known as manual metal arc welding, flux shielded arc welding, or informally as stick welding is the manual arc welding process that uses consumable electrode covered with a flux to lay the weld. I don't like her. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad you got that from this. Yep. Mm-hmm. Okay. So she's doing Megan stick. And they have no Facebook mutual friends, her and Mark. Right. So he contacts her three years ago and said, oh, I saw a nude of you on a revenge porn site. You're cute. Like you're hot. Right. But how did he find her? He just saw it. But what's wrong with her? Oh, so much. Okay. 
mm-hmm. so much. And she's like, oh, my God, totally. Let's talk. Right. But she didn't think to look like, hey, can I have herself? a link to that? Yeah. Mm, OK. Well, OK. She's mm-hmm. like, oh, my. She's like me. She's like, did I look good? Yeah. Right. <laughs> did they get my angles? Uh-huh. So then she's like, oh, yeah. Also, my ex was uh, my supervisor, Billy, from work. And I was with him for a very long time. And then I found out that he was married. Yeah. Okay. Right. Sure. Mm-hmm. Sure. So you didn't know you found out three years into having an yes. affair with him or Especially whatever. when sure. you work with him, because I'm sure no one at work knows he's married. Uh huh. And then he decides he wants to work out things with his wife. Oh, look at oh, that. Really um, so but for his kid, though, only for his daughter, though. <laughs> right. Also, I wish I knew what Billy looked like. I can't take the suspense. I know mm-hmm. we have a Facebook group, Catfish Trash Talk on Facebook. Please go in there. If you have any idea of who Billy is, please. Yeah, I need to find Bobby or something. Something. So now mm-hmm. also Billy is the one that had her nudes. Right. Okay. And he also lost his job. That's when he decided to work things out with his wife just for her daughter. Yeah, sure. Or you didn't have a job and had nowhere to go, but okay. Exactly. Mm-hmm. So she thought it was super creepy that Mark reached out to her, but still talked to him. And the- yeah, but it's like, I guess just someone to like BS with. Okay. I don't know. Yeah. So Mark said that Mark's like, oh, by the way, there's this guy Bill at my house. <laughs> He's a conspiracist. Mm-hmm. He's six foot tall. Right. Oh, also, he sounds like a dream. Right. He sounds great. He never takes his hat off. He's a conspiracy theorist. Uh-huh. She's like, oh my God. Is his last name? You That's know, the love of my life. life. Uh-huh. Is his last name Madison? Right. Billy Madison. Uh-huh. <laughs> So now we don't know, is Billy Mark? What's going on? So then um, he was like, oh. But how do you not realize it could be the same guy? What? Why would it be the same guy? Billy loves me. But I don't understand. So this random guy that hits you up, like, here you go. I have some revenge porn. I have some revenge porn that's from Billy that I found randomly on the internet. And then also Billy's in my house. Yes, I'm actually friends with Billy. And I haven't talked to you in three years. Yeah, but but I I decided to tell you that Billy's at my house. That I have a stranger in my house. What's wrong with her? He was like, hey, um, Brittany, Mm -hmm. (laughs) there's a stranger in my house. Took a while to figure <laughs> out, but it's your ex boyfriend, Bill, and he's a conspiracy <laughs> with a hat. All right. <laughs> Thank you. She went to Mia for a minute. Okay. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. Uh, at least I didn't do the 1200 uh, year intro to that. Oh, God. At least you, yeah. At least you didn't do the remix. <laughs> the remix is so oh. crazy. All right. So she, he's like, oh, and here's also, here's Bill. Oh, it's your ex boyfriend and boss. Here's his new number, even though he's married. And right. she's like, okay, thanks. And then what happens? She just texts him. What's so wrong with you? She talks to you? Billy again. Mm-hmm. Um, and her and Billy are back together. They're having phone sex. And he said that he's leaving his wife, but Mark said that Billy's not even with his wife. Interesting. Okay. And also, she's not sure if she's actually talking to Billy. Right, but she's going to send him naked pictures of herself. But they're already sending nudes. Okay, but I like that he's sending nudes back. Uh Uh-huh. I love that. Okay, so now she thought that she was in love with Mark because he cared about her for a month. He wanted to know if she ate. (laughs) <laughs> yeah he was like did you eat and she's like what do you mean what do you mean nobody's ever asked me that before <laughs> did i eat <laughs> have you never had an italian friend jesus seriously so now uh cousin joanne mark's cousin joanne right. said <laughs> sent her 20 dollars for gas because billy uh need or mark needed someone to send it because he didn't know about technology right and okay. then Billy gave her a care package of alcohol and weed, and he left it on the side a few times. Left it by his beside his wife's car in the driveway. Okay. This is when I said, okay, she's an EDP. There's something wrong with her. Okay. She's lucky she didn't get shot. Okay. First of all, she's she is so lucky. If I was his wife, I would have shot her. She would be dead she'd be but buried next no, to my car she went with and his wife was in the basement but she believes that he it was really him giving her these care packages 
All right. Well, I would be like, I'm not drinking this alcohol because your wife poisoned it. Uh, hello. Well, mm-hmm. she said that she's all the way in love with him. Uh, and also he had helped her get her welding certificate. Oh, right. And oh, also she has no dream. pictures of him. No one does because Billy hates photos because he said that that's proof. It's incriminating. Right. Here's the thing. She's probably the only one without pictures of him. How can you bang someone for years and not have one picture of them? Take a picture while he's sleeping. Yeah, obviously. Yeah. So you do weird. it. Maybe he's a ghost. Yeah. Maybe he doesn't exist. She's like, I've been trying to take pictures of him. They just don't develop. <laughs> he's just an orb. Um, and then uh <laughs> who who said this? I think this was uh Neve and Cammy said that he's a wildly unreliable, creepy weirdo. Or she said this. I have this written down. Okay. I, I didn't I even was them. I didn't even hear that part, yeah. but okay. So now they do the image search, nothing. Yes. They mm-hmm. this is on Mark. They search phone numbers. They uh nothing. So now they go to Mark's Facebook. The last right. post was three years ago. He only has then, 15 friends. <laughs> he has 15 friends. He has two posts, but the first post is mm-hmm. 2012. Right. So, well, maybe this is Billy's wife because she's kind of like fish. This is like her stalker page. Right. But the only thing is that the page was like six years older than the right, affair it's was. Just in general. Yeah, sure. Page. Sure. So it's like, What's yeah, that okay. like? What's it like yeah. to have something like that? I honestly have no clue. <laughs> so they're like, maybe it's his wife. They find out Billy's wife's name is Bobby. So now. Right. They look at Mark's friends. Joanne is friends with Mark on Facebook. So right. Joanne has a private Facebook and they message her. Mm-hmm. Uh, they look at Billy's new phone number. It goes back to his wife, Bobby. But then they're like, maybe he's on a family plan. Which makes sense. I get that. Right. So now also they say that Joanne is the one that sent her a money order, but then they call it an e-transfer. So what is it? Yeah, who knows? <sighs> So Neve's having dinner with his parents and Joanne writes back while he's having a little uh, a little nosh. But why are both of his parents good looking? They're so cute because their rich. house is so nice, too. Yeah. Well, do you understand how rich they are? They know. I know. Been rich. I know. It's I'm very jelly. He of came this. from money, money, honey. I All mean, he went money. to dance school. <laughs> he did. He went he to did. dance school. Mm-hmm. He's a freaking ballerina. He is. I would love to see him do ballet. Mm-hmm. I think you could probably Google it. Well, I know he was on Dancing with the Stars. Mm-hmm. And he did like really well. So they do a Facebook audio call with Joanne. Mm-hmm. Then they call it an e-transfer. So he asked her about the $20 <laughs> and then there's silence. Okay, but that's the thing. This, But this is how you know someone's lying. This is what my ex-boyfriend used to do to me. <laughs> this is what every boyfriend's ever done. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, who is she? That's what they would say. Yeah, no, I know. We both <laughs> went silent. Uh huh. All right. So she said, Oh, Mark asked me to. And jo- Joanne was like, And I was so upset when I found out who it was for. And they're like, But why? Do you know her? And she's like, I know of her. Right. So Joanne's okay. husband apparently worked with Billy as well. And that's how she knows Billy. That's interesting. And Mark or whatever. Uh-huh. But it's like, But this was for Mark. Right. Your cousin. Mm hmm. So and it's just like, oh, and also my husband works with Billy. Yeah, I don't know. Not a, it wasn't a well thought out plan. So he's like, can I talk to Billy? And she's uh-huh. like, well, I could tell him or whatever. Mm-hmm. So then he catches up with Cammy, tells him everything. And then Joanne texts and says, is she interested in Mark or wants to get back with Billy? Right. And then see, here's the thing. If I was Neve, I would have been like, I don't know. I haven't asked her. Right. He said, depends. Dot, dot, dot. Come on, Neve. Yeah. I had the way to have my back, Neve. She says she doesn't trust Brittany. And then she texts, be careful is all. Right. Be careful is all in capital letters. So Brittany comes back into the Zoom and she feels pretend anxious. Right. Come on, girl. You're not anxious. You're so, living on the edge. The worst is the, the, the worst case scenario would be that this isn't Billy because all she right. wants to do is be back with Billy. So they asked her, like, all right, can we see the text between you and Billy? And she's like, oh, I can't show you. Right, I would have to ask him first. Oh, yeah, because he definitely wants it on television. Yeah, right. She said she has nothing to hide. Um, and they basically tell her what they found. And she mm-hmm. said that Billy's wife's friends and family slandered her. Yeah. Yeah, your home wrecker. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, I'm not saying that it's all your fault, but like, what did you think? No, no, it's not that. Why it's are you all, a victim? It's not all your fault, but you're not the victim here either. Then she mm-hmm. pretend cries. Because right, but she's not even really crying. She pretend cries because she has mm-hmm. a secret. 
Mm-hmm. Yes. She said that she was ambushed to write to the show. What? Uh-huh. She Mark, feels gullible. Yeah. Mark and Billy approached her and they said that Billy would be with her, but mm-hmm. she has to write to Catfish. It's like, okay. So basically, if she writes to Catfish, all the secrets will come out and her yes. and Billy can live happily ever after. Right. Because okay. that's how it happens. Mm-hmm. Well, obviously, that's the ending you of know, all like, the Catfish. Do you remember when you got married and uh-huh. the vows between you and your husband are like, um, I take you for better or for worse, even though you were on catfish and that's how I met you and you catfished me and then you were my boss. And then you slept with me for three years without telling me you were married. And then we had to go on catfish so I could find out it was you. And uh, now we're together. Till death do us part. (laughs) Till death do us part. I do. Mm Mm-hmm. Yes, that's those are were actually word for word my vows. That's so weird. You Mm -hmm. guys wrote the same vows. Yeah, it's so funny. Uh I was like, all right, no, I mean, I'll. I'll use a standard these. catfish vow. <laughs> <laughs> and then you may FaceTime the bride. Now kiss. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh God. So they text Billy. Right. And he's like, okay, I'm ready. Mm-hmm. So Cammy's like, okay, before Billy comes in here, walk away no matter what. This is your, like, this is a really bad, bad, bad situation that you yeah. shouldn't be involved in regardless of anything. Like if you think you made a mistake when you were younger, like good for you, mm-hmm. yada, 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 leave it in the past, walk away. And she's like, yeah, totally. Yeah, sure. Dun, dun, dun. Bobby. Bobby. Bobby has Bobby. those nice thin eyebrows. Oh yeah. She has, they look like a rainbow. They're the shape of a rainbow. They're a rainbow. frown. <laughs> They are really no. I like the rainbow more because it's the hope. Uh-huh. She has Noelle, hope brows. I need to see Billy. Okay, Tracy. I see her, and I'm like, "What the hell does Billy look like?" I need to see Billy, but you know what? I need to see more. What Monday on ABC? Love is a beach, and someone will get burned. Bachelor in Paradise is finally back with your favorite bachelors and bachelorettes looking for love in all the right and wrong places it's going to be spf'd up starting monday on abc these guys and gals have waited a long time to get back to the beach and they're just bursting thirsting and pounding against (laughs) the uh waves and just to make it a bit hotter a few celebrities are packing their bags to guest host david spade little john lance bass and more will dip their toes in the paradise waters this season can queen victoria find her king Will Connor the cat prove that he can kiss? Will (laughs) anyone even talk to Carl? It's paradise like you've never seen. And who knows? Someone or someone's might get married. Think you've seen this before? Beach, please. Bachelor in Paradise premieres Monday at 8, 7 Central on ABC. Can't wait. Can't wait. But I still do want to see Billy. No, I Tracy, <laughs> I need to investigate. I might spend the rest of my night doing this. So she said she said that she's been trying to contact Billy for three years and that Bobby is behind the Mark profile. Okay, stop trying to contact this guy. She can't. She's in love with him. There is a difference between love and obsession. Okay, so here's a little personal story. Uh-huh. When I was younger, mm-hmm. I had a boyfriend. Mm-hmm. And a very close friend of mine would not stop uh, having an affair with him, I guess. Funny, I've been in a similar situation. And I I approached her and I was like, hey, can you? And listen, hindsight, sure, I should have just broken up with him. Uh Uh-huh. I was like, hey, can you stop? And she's like, I know, it's just so hard. I love him so much. Isn't that funny? I'm like, what is wrong with you? Yes. And it's like, yeah, this is what she's like. She sent 47 nudes with videos to Bobby. But okay, here's what gets me is you don't even know if this is him and you're sending yeah. this. And she said, well, you dangled the carrot in front of my mouth. And then Bobby said something so funny. I don't think she knew it was funny. What'd she say? She said, if that's what's going to happen every time you get a carrot in front of your face, <laughs> you have a problem. I mean, it's true. Bobby. She's not wrong. <laughs> I don't I don't think what Bobby did was wrong. I don't know. I thought she was funny. I like this. I thought it was pretty funny. Yeah, I um, like it. Listen, I thought it was funny because I think she was sending naked pictures of Billy to her. Yeah, so do I. I think she was probably taking, taking pictures photos? of him. <laughs> uh-huh. And sending them to her. Absolutely. Because she would recognize so, it. I think that's so funny. So do I. I think it's great. I know that it's awful, but it's so funny. So, and she said that Billy's totally on board with this and knows exactly what she's been doing. But do you think, I don't know. I kind of do. Cause I think 
Billy's oh, like, because of the dick pics too. I got no job. Yeah. I got nowhere to go. Yeah. This is what you got to do. That makes sense. If that's what it takes for you to forgive me. Yeah, let's do it. Go sure. for it. And then you could see that I'm not with her. Yes. <laughs> so she said that they're very happy. They have a really happy marriage. No, it seems that way, you know, that you have to catfish someone for years. <laughs> Everything is fine. Like what? What? No good. Mm, no, no good. Mm-mm. Okay. No good. So also they talk to her about the care packages and they're like, why would you buy our weed? She's like, I grow weed. And it's like, is this an advertisement for your weed company? Uh-huh. Cause then, uh, Brittany's like, oh, I liked it. And she's like, good. I'm she, glad you liked it. She's like, <laughs> it was really good too. <laughs> okay. But what about the alcohol? Right. I guess she bought her alcohol though. You bought her a bottle of Jack and brew it at home. (laughs) (laughs) Did you brew it? Did you make the wine? Maybe. Maybe she crushed the grapes. How didn't she poison her? Okay, but that's what I want to know. I would have been like, here's some fentanyl weed. Here's some X lax weed. (laughs) (laughs) Here's some Saya wheat (laughs) weed. Definitely weed. Uh Uh-huh. Here's um arsenic coors light. <laughs> like what are you doing yeah like also, in flowers in the attic when they poison the kids with yes. the powdered sugar on the donuts that's how you could get me just give oh, me we could definitely powdered yeah, don't, sugar don't give anyone too many ideas <laughs> uh so here's the thing i'm looking at uh britney and i'm looking at bobby and i'm like what are the similarities i was trying and i'm like billy really likes a heavy eyeliner he does like a heavy eyeliner <laughs> i'm looking at this and i'm like what did they have in common also, mark yeah, right. We don't. No one cares about Mark this whole time. Nobody cares about Mark. Poor Mark. Mm-mm. Poor Mark. So, Mark Sky. I like how Neve and Cammy are like Bobby. This makes you look crazy, and it's like, does no, it? How about Brittany? It makes you look disgusting. Yes, and Brittany said that she wants closure, and Neve's like, okay, how about this is closure? Bobby doesn't want you. He, he oh no, Billy. Billy doesn't want you. He's married to. A, she's like, I still nice. love him. Yeah, he's like, okay, stop. Right. Because that's the thing. You could tell she's not going to stop. And she's like, yeah, I'm sorry, but I'm still in love with him. Right. And Bobby like giggled like, come on, girl. And then you hear welding bells. (laughs) God. Uh Uh-huh. Sorry. Um, And then we get the update. I just don't buy it. Everyone's happy suddenly. Everyone's happy. And Brittany has a, now has a boyfriend and totally forgot about she Billy. She sees him every gonna, day. She sees, a, <laughs> she sees a new guy every day. Uh-huh. How, oh, this seems real. Yeah. Uh-huh. Oh, she has a new boyfriend. She's every day. Wait, hold on. Okay. I want you to be Neve. Uh-huh. And I'm going to be Brittany. And you could call me for an update. Okay. <laughs> boop, 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 boop. Hi, Hello? Brittany. <laughs> oh, hey, is this Neve? This is Neve. Oh, hey, Neve. What's going on? Um, I just was calling you for an update for the show. Oh, like, what do you mean? Um, like what's going on in your life right now? Like with, um, like romantically? Yeah. Like with Billy or anybody. Oh, um, I met a prince. Oh, interesting. Okay. Tell me about this prince. Um, he, um, he's made of diamonds. (laughs) How often do you see this? Oh, every day. (laughs) Do you ever think about Billy? How could I think about Billy? My <laughs> boyfriend's Bill Gates. Oh, okay. So you're Diamond Prince Bill Gates. <laughs> yes. You see him every day and you forgot oh, he about loves Billy. Me so much. <laughs> he kisses me on my pinky toes. <laughs> so when we go out, he carries me on his back. Oh, he sounds great. Mm-hmm. He drives a spaceship. Do you still um want to be with Billy? No, because my boyfriend, <laughs> um, he loves me. We got married. Oh, okay. So you're married. Uh huh. To Diamond Prince. Diamond <laughs> Prince Bill Gates. He's the real Billy that I wanted. Billy Gates. There's something wrong with you. Call him Billy, though. <laughs> this is why people say our podcasts are like fever dreams. <laughs> this is Billy why. Gates. Um, yeah. Why? What's up? What else did you want to know? Um, that was really all I wanted to know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's my life's very, the best. Okay. Maybe I have a happy guys, marriage. Maybe you guys could go to CCD Fest next year. <laughs> Oh my god! I don't need him to CBD all over me. I don't want to get pregnant. That was a, that's called a callback, my friends. Oh. That's called a callback. Oh, that's man. what I think happened when they when he called her. Though. Oh god! She was like, "Everything's eyes. great. What do you mean? I see a, a boyfriend. I see. Uh, <laughs> I see him every day." Oh my eyes! His name are is tearing. George Glass. <laughs> oh my eyes are tearing. Mm-hmm. Oh, he's orange juice <sighs> flavored. What? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Right. And I like that Bobby and Billy are in a great place now, too. 
Yeah. Mm -hmm. Everyone's fine. Everything is fine. Everything has worked out fine. Yeah. So, okay. A mark clearly is not real, but why don't they ever tell us where they get the idea for these people or the pictures of these people? Where they get the Mark's pictures, Bobby? Yeah. Bobby, did you Google him? Bobby, did you ever catfish anyone else? And why did you stop catfishing her for three years? Right. Like what yeah. happened? Something happened in March. Right. I don't understand. Right. What sparked your interest? We're in like, March? hello. Yeah. Me again, Mark. <laughs> nice Definitely. to see you. But it's like the balls to be like, I have my friend Billy here. <laughs> what? <laughs> friend- um, there's a guy sleeping on my couch. Did you ever date him? Yeah. Randomly. It's like, what? You did? Uh huh. What are the odds? What a quinky dink. He's a conspiracy theorist. Uh huh. He doesn't take off his hat. Never. I've I never need to see Billy. Him. He sounds like a dream, honestly. But, uh, he, he sounds like I should just picture him. I see it. I, I don't know what he looks like, but I've pictured so many things. But in all of the situations, he's not good looking. No, I know. It's like I have so many ideas. Yeah. There's definitely a lot of, um, grease on his hands not like chicken grease like motor oil maybe if we could all right if i could find a welder maybe dj welder trucker cop bill oh maybe that's how (laughs) that's how he got the the certificate maybe lou helped him with a certificate louis maybe i could find bobby on instagram i tried oh because i want to see their kid because i could gauge how ugly billy is at least (laughs) by seeing the the kid. kid has rainbow eyebrows yeah you never know the kid has rainbow eyebrows I and easy hands. I, I loved Bobby. I love oh, Bobby. me too. I hated I be that friends I Bobby. with Bobby. I could be friends with Bobby and be like, and then what'd you do? Yeah, I feel like I've learned more from Bobby. The only thing that I wish about Bobby yeah. is that she was like, and then I kicked Billy out of my house. I know. But Bobby would never give you the satisfaction because she doesn't want Brittany to come and scoop him up. I don't blame her. Uh-huh. She's like, we're in love. We actually had 12 more babies yesterday. Uh, yeah, right. We're great. We're doing a vow renewal. Yes. Uh huh. That's how you know things are going really good in your marriage when you have to do a vow renewal. It's so true. That is so true. Oh, it is so real. Um, I got, I hope you guys really enjoyed this episode. I did. Uh, no, well, I did. Yeah, this was amazing. This was a good one. I need more episodes like this. It made me like remote yeah it, it definitely did it, re- it uh-huh. reignited the love of catfish yes. for me. this was my vow renewal with catfish yes this is the catfish vow renewal yeah thank you guys i didn't know how much i loved you until uh you reminded me season eight episode 46 Brittany and mark what's your song i knew i loved you before <laughs> i met you that's how i feel about bobby that's <laughs> I love her. Oh, that's such a good song for this episode. All right, guys, make sure you're going to tracycarnazzo.com for all of my upcoming show dates and make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter. I'm at Trixie Suzini. Noel is at Noe Girl and join the group Catfish Trash Talk on Facebook. Give us a five star rating, an amazing review. Tell one friend about the podcast. And uh, if you're just discovering us, welcome. We love you so much. Go to patreon.com slash trash talk podcast for everything that we've ever done in our whole lives. Ever. (laughs) Okay, bye. Bye.